Um, in, in China, I really believe that we need to innovate in small steps. And uh, if we speak from a recruitment industry standpoint, um, because China has been growing very fast, uh, in a very short period of time, it has leaped from a, a, a village, basically, to um, top number one, number two economy in the world. And there's always a shortage in talent. Um, and because of the um, shortage in talent, people are really fighting to get these people. And because of that environment, um, oftentimes people are pushed to the next level, even though experience-wise they're not ready yet. So they have inflated titles. Um, they are put in a position where they're probably not ready yet compared to their counterpart. Um, and on average, they're probably 10 years younger than their Western counterparts. So um, that's why when you, um, in the West, if you have a new concept, you bring it into China, you need to take it in small steps because um, oftentimes they may f have fear of this new concept, whether it would fail, um, if they can handle it, it may propose a threat. Um, so um, it takes time to bring a new concept and innovation in China. So, um, so one example that um, in, in our firm, um, we have this new innovative service that we call Source Cloud. Basically, Source Cloud is um, a, a service where um, we offer our clients, depending on their needs, um, during the recruitment cycle, um, if they need to hire, um, have someone to support them in, in the front end um, to provide more sourcing candidates. So we, we focus on that, um, becoming a sourcing engine for their front end and work with their um, HR people. If there's a need maybe in the, in the midpoint where they just want us to focus on um, shortlisting, we do that or at the end offering stage. So basically we, we break it down into um, the um, RPO concept, uh, RPO which stands for Recruitment Process Outsourcing. We break that down into small pieces and we call it Source Cloud, which we then um, address the separate needs of, of the client rather than offering them end to end this massive project, uh, which uh, would require more costs, um, which require more commitment from the company to outsource this concept, which oftentimes it poses a threat to their HR team. So by offering Source Cloud, they actually feel more in control of each step of the way. And then slowly, once you, they built up the confidence, see the value of um, our um, piecemeal outsourcing, then eventually when they have a great project, they can um, come to us and actually ready to take on an RPO project, which may take a year's time. Innovate in small steps um, in China doesn't just apply in the business sector, it can also apply in the NGO world. Um, an example would be um, a triple win situation um, that happened um, in my former role working for WWF, um, an environmental NGO um, organization. So in that case, um, just for some background, um, the child minority group in, in Minshan, um, these women, they were going into the forest um, to chop woods for cooking, uh, for heating, that's part of their daily lives. But by doing that, they're actually damaging the environment. So um, WWF took um, the time um, to come up with this creative solution. So the first step was to um, organize a study tour to understand um, uh, you know, the, the local um, uh, pepper, which is their um, main crop that they grow, how they can use that to um, um, increase the income of the people um, in, in the village, but at the same time how they can um, increase the income, make it as an alternative uh, income so that they don't have to go into the forest and, and, and chop woods and, and do damage to the environment. So first we organized a study group, then we created a pepper association, um, which is a representative of the uh, minority group to um, commercialize their uh, main crop, um, Sichuan pepper, um, how to package them, how to select um, uh, the good quality pepper, um, and then develop a marketing channel for it. And then um, later on, we took some time to identify a corporate sponsor, in this case, which was Kafour. They came in using their uh, marketing channels, open up their marketing channels to allow um, the Pepper Association to sell into uh, the mainstream uh, uh, market so that in big cities like in Shanghai or Beijing, they can have a taste of the um, local Sichuan pepper. So at the end, um, 
it's a triple win because the environment uh, won because um, these child minority no longer need to go into the woods to um, for cooking or for finding medicines. Um, their income increased, the, the child minority, the income increased because now uh, they're selling pepper in the main market. And then Kafour also um, increased their branding. Um, they, they are the sponsors um, to make this happen, actually. And um, they're in, a, in, a, in their own way helping the environment. So it's a triple win situation. So this project um, actually took uh, multiple years to make it happen. It involves uh, multiple parties, a um, lot of discussions. So. I mean, in summary, this is another example in China, um, innovate in small steps.